CEO of Apple, Tim Cook, is facing a revolt from shareholders due to his remuneration package. The proxy advisory firm Institutional Shareholder Services has urged investors to vote against his salary package worth $99 million. They've highlighted significant concerns around and about the structure and immensity of his equity award. Institutional Shareholder Services highlighted that there were significant concerns regarding the design and magnitude of the award granted to the CEO last year. It also stated that half of the award lacked performance criteria. According to them, his pay was 1,447 times more than the wage of an average Apple employee, from 600,600 in personal security costs and 712,500 for personal use of a private jet. The costs of his perks were significantly high. Tim Cook's salary in 2021 was worth $3 million. In addition, he received $82.3 million in stock awards, $1.4 million for air travel, $12 million for hitting Apple's targets, amongst all the other things. In total, he earned $98.7 million last year compared to $14.8 million a year earlier. ISS has made the recommendation for shareholders to review this when they meet next month. However, it is important to note that shareholder votes are only advisory. While the decision-making power related to the same lies in the hands of Apple's board, at last year's meeting, 95% of shareholder votes supported Apple's executive compensation program. Similar cases of revolt against executive pay have come to light in the past, such as IBM and Starbucks, who didn't manage to win majority of shareholder support for executive pay last year. However, it's yet to be seen how things will unfold for Tim Cook. So what do you think? Is he paid too much? You can leave a comment here if you like, and you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can press the bell icon to get latest notifications for our latest videos. I'm Rachel for Kalkine Media.